Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. Now, over the past few days, I built a graphing calculator in Minecraft. Now, before I show you, I recommend watching this video in full screen because the banners are kind of small and it's hard to see them in, <laughs> um, you know, small screen. Okay, so let's get right into it. So we have our equation up here, and we have three different graphs that we can use and three different settings for the x. Now, I'm just going to put add one for x. And we're going to graph it right now. So it should be 0 since everything is set to 0. We're going to graph the red graph. Okay. And you can see we just get a straight line. If we go over here and let's say we add 1 to the purple. And it's just going to kind of, it's the opposite of that. Uh, the first 4 are the first 4 numbers. And these 3 are the last 3 numbers. So this should graph an equation with a slope of 1. Let's just do the red graph again. So there we go, we have a slope of 1. If we add another one, it should change it up a bit. Alright, and now we're going to get a slope of 2. Add 1, we can get a slope of 3. Alright, and now we can actually add... Actually, I'm not going to add 0 0.1, it's too small. I'm going to add uh, 0. Point, what, okay, what am I... Okay, so 3.20. So let's do 3.3 and let's graph that. I'm going to graph it on the green so you can see the difference. So you can see a graph of 3.3 or a slope of 3.3 is just ever so slightly different. So yeah, it's a little bit a little bit steeper you can kind of see. All right, cool. Now, we can actually set it to 0 0.5, which is pretty good for lines because it really accurately shows a line and the other one shows it accurately but this one is more uh, you know more to scale now we can um, just graph a normal line of like plus two or something over here if we just add two to that so that's just gonna add a line with you know uh, <laughs> okay so we're gonna clear that now let's add a parabola I'm just gonna add I'm just going to add uh, oh, with 1x basically. So, let's see what that looks like. Now, okay, so that's with a 0 0.5 adding at the x. If we set it to 1, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be an accurate representation, but, you know, I wish you could see more. So, we can set that to 0 0.1. I recommend 0 0.1 for anything that uses x squared or higher. So, you can get a really good look at what the graph would look like so here we go and okay it's gonna take a little bit longer but you can see it shows a line so you can see a much better what it looks like to at a smaller scale so that's really cool we can invert the graph by simply reversing the sign or we could just subtract two but I just added the a reverse sign for you know to make it easier so then we could add that to the green graph and see what that looks like so we can graph them both in the same plane okay cool cool and that looks awesome <laughs> okay now we can shift it over by adding to this part right here so if we want to shift it over to the left three we're gonna add three to this side so one two three and let's put that on the blue graph so we can fully see the shift so this might take a second to you know, graph it okay so that's starting to graph and now you can see that the x intercept and the y intercept is at um, uh, negative three so cool you can kind of see the shifts there we're gonna just clear that Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I, I didn't let the blue... Oh, the blue graph hadn't even finished yet when I cleared it. Okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, let's do a normal... Actually, you know what? I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like if you put something like 0 0.2 for the parabola because it actually is going to expand the size of it if you put 0 0.2. Because if you have 1, it's kind of a thin parabola, but with 0 0.2, we can get a pretty wide parabola, which I think looks pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, that's awesome. Now, I'm actually going to subtract that. I think I'm going to do like 0 
I think 0 0.02 would be kind of cool. So let's subtract one, subtract one again. We could have just zeroed it out. I don't know. Oh, what did I do? Oh, let's not okay, zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, cool. So let's do 0 0.03 because let's I think uh, I wonder what this is going to look like. Okay, so you can see it's really wide now, very, very wide. It's coming in from the left and it's going to hit the origin <laughs> and that's its vertex and then it's going to go up. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. I like how you can kind of see the points flying there and adding to the graph. So yeah, okay. Now let's graph an x cubed function. So we should just clear our equation and go over here. So we're going to just do a normal one. All right. So no, I'm actually going to add 0 0.5. So this goes a little bit faster. So there we go. We, there's an x cubed function. If we do set it to 0 0.01, we can get a more accurate representation of it. Now I'm going to go over here so I can change this to 0 point, I think 0 0.25. So we can kind of make this wider. Of course, you can shift it over to the right or left by doing this. And you can shift it up by adding or subtracting from the yellow. Shift it up or down. So let's actually, yeah, let's do, why did I do that? Whoops, okay. <laughs> let's add, uh, subtract. So what is that? That's 0 0.50. And then 2. Five. Okay, so there's 0 0.25, and we're gonna also shift it up. Let's let's move it up by two, I guess. That's that'll be cool. <laughs> okay, so let's graph that. Alrighty, come on. <laughs> so it should. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit wider. It the y-intercept is two, just like we wanted, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. Now. Just to wrap this up, I'm going to just kind of mess around with this. I'm going to zero this out, and I'm going to show you if we subtract 2 from here, this is going to produce a pretty interesting graph. I really like the way this looks. I think it looks pretty cool. So let's see what happens. And if we if we subtract even more, then it'll change. It'll uh, The jump will be even higher in the dive. So you, you can see we got like this little, it's almost like a Z if you rotated it so yeah we can actually if we invert the sign on this so we can reverse the sign on this and then we go all the way over here and then we reverse the sign on this and we graph this let's do the green graph you can see it actually will do the opposite it will flip flip this so I think that's pretty cool so yeah it comes in from the other way and it dives and then it jumps and then it, it goes down so now we have like the infinity symbol which I think is is pretty cool that's awesome <laughs> so yeah that's really cool and we can um, just clear that and for the last thing I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna do something like 0 0.1 x cubed and then I guess I think I'm gonna do let's do plus x squared and then this is the final graph I'm going to do. Let's see what what happens. <laughs> I think I think it's going to do a little jump and then it hits and then it's it's weird. <laughs> so yeah, you can see it yeah, it kind of moves over a bit and up. I kind of like it. I like the look of it. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it. It's pretty cool. It you know, I like it a lot. Let me just show you the redstone before I where I finish this off. So I'm going to go into game mode 3 here and just kind of drop through the floor. So there's this of course and there's really nothing here. There's some banners over here and then that's it. Um, down there is the entire contraption. Of course we have this stuff behind here which is just to kind of manipulate all that. And then, But this is the whole system. This kind of, it does the equations. It moves it into place and it's um, it changes the banners so it shows the number and yeah that's about it I think it's pretty cool I really like the way it looks and have fun graphing <laughs> alright I'll see you guys in the next video which I think is 
pretty cool too. I actually, I have some pretty big things planned. So definitely stick around to check that out. I'm also going to start messing around with 1.9. But anyway, enough, you know, getting off topic. That's the end of the video. Have fun graphing, as I said before. And that's it. Peace. <laughs>